Willie let down the tailboard and went to open the coal house door. The bolt was stiff with frost. And he had to ask himself if he had not turned into a man consigned to doorways. For did he not spend the best part of his life standing outside of one or another, waiting for them to be opened? As soon as he forced this bolt, he sent something within. But many a dog he'd found in a coal shed with no decent place to lie. He couldn't properly see and was obliged to go back to the lorry for the torch. When he shone it on what was there, he judged by what was on the floor that the girl within had been there for longer than the night. Christ, he said. The only thing he thought to do was to take his coat off. And when he did, he went to put it around her. There's no harm, Furlong explained. I've just come with a cold, Lanoff. God love you, child, he said. Come away out of this. When he managed to get her out and saw what was before him, a girl just about fit to stand, with her hair roughly cut, the ordinary part of him wished she'd never come near the place. You're all right, he said. Lean in on me, won't you? The girl didn't seem to want him close, but he managed to get her as far as the lorry, where she leant against the warmth of the bonnet and looked down at the lights of the town and the river, and then far away out, much as he had done at the sky. I'm out now, she managed to say, after a while. <laughs>